today. Um, this one is uh, dealing with the NC700X again. And um, what I'm going to do is make a radiator guard for it. As you can see here, this radiator is really exposed to uh, to everything. Uh, there's no guard at all over the fins here. And uh, all it would take is a rock or anything up off the road to um, do some damage to that. And it's uh, an expensive little item. It's, uh, from what I understand, is over $500 to replace it. So I'm going to make a little guard for it today. Um, and what I'm going to do, you can buy these things on online, of course. And, uh, you know, they go anywhere from, I guess, about $35 on up to near 100 or whatever. But I figured I'd just make my own because I've got this stuff laying around. This here is some metal mesh that I took out of a, the lower part of a screen door, an old screen door I had. And uh, there's the screen door right there. And uh, it's just this lower part up here had that mesh up there to, I, I suppose, to keep uh, pets from clawing the screen up. But it's an old door. I've had it laying around up there for about eight years now. And it's from another place where I used to live. And the door itself is still good. And I just, uh, just took this mesh part off. So I'm going to cut this down to the size of that radiator. And then I'm going to paint it black, and uh, I'm going to cover it with this stuff here, which is called hardware cloth, or metal mesh cloth. Don't ask me why they have the word cloth in it, because there's no cloth in it at all. It's just wire mesh. And this is a quarter inch, the little squares here are a quarter inch wide. And... Um, I'm just going to cover this mesh, this uh, other steel mesh, with that, uh, just to keep the uh, the smaller rocks out. <clears throat> and then I'm going to zip tie it all together, and then zip tie it to the uh, front of the radiator, and it's all going to be painted black. So that's the idea. So here we go. So according to my measurements here, it looks like this. Uh, width here of the radiator is 11 and 3 eighths inches and up and down it's uh, right on 7 inches so 11 3 eighths by 7 so that's what I'm going to cut this stuff out to kind of ugly but it worked throw it on the wire wheel here yeah I'm gonna see how this fits in here Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Okay, with this hardware cloth, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to lay it on top of this here. And uh, I'm going to extend it out beyond the edge of it about a half an inch on all sides. And then that way I can just wrap it around the edges. And uh, probably won't even be necessary to zip tie it onto here if it's all wrapped around the edges but I will zip tie the uh, the whole thing onto the bike anyway so yeah that ought to work
right. There we go. All right, so that ought to be good for now. All right, it's another lovely day in Oregon, and uh, looks like uh, the paint is dry on these. So all I have to do now is uh, set this on here and bend the edges over, and then uh, zip tie it to the bike. So we'll get started with that right now. So I guess uh, the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to try to uh, put the first bends in here uh, by just putting this this uh, hardware cloth right at the edge of this metal uh, table. It's a table saw here. And I'm going to clamp this uh, straight edge, or in this case a uh, level. I'm going to clamp it over the edge here to get it right at the right right where I want it put the level right over the top of it there and then I'm going to clamp the level down and then so that way I can get a nice clean bend in this thing and then I'll just push it down like this and I'll uh, do that on each side to get it started then I will uh, put it over the mesh and then try to bend it the rest of the way and we'll see how that goes. Okay, here's one. Yeah. Okay, that's two bends. Now we will set this inside of it. Right about there. And see if we can bend this over the rest of the way. Oh yeah, that'll work out pretty good. Now, I'll have to bend it again around on the edges here. I think I can probably do this without the straight edge on there. So let's see how, I, how this goes. Yeah, that works out pretty good. I think I'm going to have to touch this up with paint a little bit when I'm done because it's, I think this metal table is kind of scratching some of the paint off, but that's all right. I can uh, repaint it and come back tomorrow to put it on the bike. And there it is. All right, I think that's gonna, uh, I think that's gonna work just fine. Don't see why I wouldn't. 
going to provide good protection, pretty solid, and uh, it should, uh, should prevent any damage to that radiator. So back to the back to the cardboard paint booth we go. Okay, looks like it's uh, all dried, ready to go. Just need to zip tie it on. So I just need to uh, feed these these uh, zip ties through here. Okay, now they're both through. Okay, it's on, and that's not going anywhere. It's on there good and tight, so. All right, so everything looks good, and uh, I think I'm gonna take this thing out for a spin and make sure everything holds together all right. I don't have any reason to believe it wouldn't. Uh, all right, I just took her out for uh, a ride here. Let's see uh, how far did I go. It wasn't all that far, but just a uh, nice little test. 12, 11, so yeah, it was about 40 miles. And uh, we great, no problem. So um, take a look at this here. Yeah, yeah, worked, worked fine. Looks like I didn't get any bugs in there yet. But uh, yeah, I think this is a success. So um, thanks for watching and see you next time.